Thank you for joining me again on my channel. My name is Derek and this is Games and Table. Today will be round two, game two, Kingdom Death Monster. Before we begin, I do want to address some issues from rule mistakes I made in the last game. Uh, the first one is the use of survival to dodge attacks. Uh, in the rules, you actually cannot dodge when you are reacting to an attack that you made. Now, if you make the attack and your monster reacts and targets another survivor, then they can use a dodge. You can only dodge when it's on the monster's turn. So I do apologize for that. Then the other issue is I have a mix up with the characters Kira and Trinity. I did correct it. Um, Trinity actually does have eight sanity. She, when she got hit by the lion, uh, I guess I have edited or, or I might not have a camera running when I rolled the die, but she did get an additional five. Insanity brings her to a total of eight. And Kira does have five insanity. Kira won't be joining us on this hunt uh, uh, with her abilities um, gaining more insight. He had to skip a hunt phase. So we will have a new survivor. We'll get to him in just a moment. So for right now, I'm going to also uh, go through the loadout. I did keep two hide, and I changed my mind about the hide, and I decided to make two raw hide vests. One of them right here. As you can see, it gives him one armor to the chest, and also additional ability. You can see if he has a blue piece and a red piece. One of these two connected. He doesn't have the raw hide helmet. Then uh, he would gain an additional plus one evasion. So I actually used all my resources to make two raw hide vests. So let's start with going to be four leaf. Uh, he's going to have a one claw from the raw hide vest, like I showed you. We, I gave him also the bone dagger. We should help. It's a speed three, so we'll have three attacks hitting on sevens. It gives him plus one strength. Not too bad. And also, I gave him another founding stone. Only had two of those left. And also monster grease. Monster grease will give you give you plus one evasion. So it'll make it harder to hit. And if you actually have three of these green affinities, as indicated, it will give you an additional plus one evasion. So that's four leaf. I want to show you Christmas. Christmas is uh, pretty much the same. But he does have the rawhide headset or headband. And what that will do is he can for an action instead of attacking. He can look at the top two AI deck the monster and then put them back in whatever order you want. I mean, those two cars, the one I'm on top basically. So you'll know the monster's next action. And since he does have a blue and red, he does, he will receive the plus one evasion. Unlike four leaf. For his weapons, I gave him bone darts. Now, I'm an Expendables fan and I envision him throwing his darts. Not as strong as you would think, but um, they're only uh, speed one attack, so he has one attack hitting on a seven plus. But they are strength three. He can target anything from six spaces away with those. Trinity, crazy self, eight insanity, original cloth, and also the monster group. And she will be having the bone blade. A pretty good weapon. So it was, she was going to have two attacks, it's D2, and it hits on, hits on sixes, pretty good. Files if they're behind, and it gives her a plus two. So she should be a beast in hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
He's a new arrival. He didn't participate in the original hunt. His name is Kroll. He'll just be having the starting gear, the one cloth, and the founding stone. Hopefully, uh, well, hopefully everybody will survive, but I hope Kroll will stick around and see some great things from him. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set up the actual hunt phase, and you'll get to see how that how that operates. So, right back. Okay, back and have everything set up. So the next thing I want to do is um, we're going to hunt our level one white line. Now these are a little bit tougher. And the prologue white lion is for the stats. Uh, they have more AI, but they move six, like the same, still toughness eight, but just have more AI cards, so more get through and wounds get through for this one. So, for the hunt, as you can see, I just went ahead and turned these over. They're different from the actual uh, event cards. But you, our survivors will start. Pick one. I'll nominate Christmas. Will be the start with him. So he'll be leading the party. So every space they move, uh, it will change. So next roll. So we're not gonna have, well, roll could take point. All right. So as you can see, it says roll a D100 for the hunt event. Go ahead and roll that. White die will be 10. 21. Drawings. Powering in a cave, survivors find strange drawings decorating the walls. They appear to contain a message. Any survivor with 3 plus understanding may try to decipher the drawings by rolling 1d10. The settlement has pictographs. Every survivor may roll. Browse of the understanding and add plus four to the roll. Fortunately, we don't have none of those. So we'll move on. That space. Roll will be next. So he'll be token holder. Let's roll again. 83. Flesh monolith. Survivors approach a five-sided monolith made of flesh that stretches into the darkness overhead. Limbs, faces, both human and bizarre, protrude from all sides. The event revealer gains plus one courage and investigates. That's good. Go ahead and mark that off. Uh, roll. You may live through this. And the roll. Eight. Five through nine. All survivors are driven back with horror. They all suffer horrorous monster level brain vent damage. Really? Really cruel. Uh, so everybody takes one brain damage. Roll and Flirt fortunately doesn't have any insanity, but everybody else does, so that will take four leaves. I don't nothing. Christmas will go down to nothing. Trinity, real crazy self, will go down to seven. Roll will suffer brain trauma. Nine. New perspective. We're knocked down. Gain plus one d ten insanity. <laughs> well, good job, Crow.
Next person. Remedy. Supply one. Hunt. Hunt. Sea of golden grass. Fields of golden grass lay ahead. The event revealer may choose to avoid the planes and roll twice on the hunt event table before moving on the hunt board. Otherwise, each survivor gains plus one courage and the event revealer rolls on the table. On the roll on the table. One, two, three, the quarry. Their stocking in the grass begin to show down immediately. The monster ambushes the survivors. Four through seven. Survivors circle the tall grass whilst rolling the hunt event table or moving on the hunt board. Eight through ten. Pick up the trail. Use to move the white line one space forward or backward on the hunt event. Huh. First off, I gotta get plus one courage. Okay, so we get courage, so let's go ahead and roll on this table. Seven. The survivors circle the tall grass lost. Roll on the hunt event table before moving on the hunt board. So we gotta roll one more time. Thirty-two. Sudden madness. The re event revealer, four leaf, is devastated by a piercing cacophony in their head. Roll one d ten. Result is less than or equal to their current insanity. They go mad, lashing out at their compatriots. Each other survivor suffers one event damage, random hit location, for the event revealer. Revealer regains control of themselves. The event revealer has a crazed fighting art they gain insight or deal. Gain plus 10 insanity and plus 2 understanding. Which they don't. Okay, so that's just automatic. Because Four Leaf doesn't have insanity currently. He's perfectly sane. So he's going to lash out at everybody. Start with Four Leaf. Ugh. Takes a shot to the chest. Roll. Shot to the body. Might, Trinity, and <laughs> Christmas takes a shot to the head. Christmas is prepared though. That's why we're right. Headband. Okay, so now they just move in. White lion. Okay, have the board set up, and um, just to go over some of the terrain features, uh, these right here are all grass. So if you're actually standing in it, you gain plus two evasion, making you harder to hit. I'm going to try to take advantage of. Eventually, if you use action, you can basically hide. And uh, if you have a priority to token, then that's all automatically removed because you're no longer a threat. Hide in the tall threat. Now this right here, the is an ore vein. I mean, from a roll. Basically, a resource you can mine. You basically just roll a, a d10. You can gain some type of resource. Then over here on the right. A giant stone face and um, basically it takes action and on top but it gives you plus two to your accuracy and also plus two to your range so throw things the easier to hit I think I'll take advantage of this game but you never know. So, we'll go ahead and start first round. Monster's turn. I'm gonna draw an AI card. Enraged. Right off the bat. Okay. 
Okay, we're just gonna place this on this mood deck. It says when this card comes into play, draw an AI card. So we're gonna place Enraged. Now, permanent. And it's gonna give him plus one to his damage. I like that. Right off the bat. So the next AI card is another mood card. Alert. When a survivor moves into a space within the zone of death, stop their movement. They gain the priority token, start alert, and perform basic action. So he's going to do. Okay, so the monster has a zone of death, which is four spaces around him. So he will do a basic action if anybody moves within that space and they will become the priority. So first things first, let's start with Crawl. It's going to move up. Top of that, it's going to try to mine some ore. Let's see what it gets. Three. Find nothing. Archivister. And yeah, we really do want to get in the grass. Yeah, Trinity. What death is. Move up here. Guess he might as well attack. I'm gonna throw bone dart at him. He's a seven plus to hit. Nice. He misses. All right, so it's gonna go on to the monster's turn. Okay, the lion. Next AR card is Chomp. Monster controller. This. So his closest threat facing and in range. All gonna be in range. I would could random up. It's gonna be four leaf. Lucky, lucky four leaf. So gonna be four leaf. The monster's going to move. Okay, and Chomp is a speed one attack, two plus accuracy, damage one, but it's going to be damage two because the monster is enraged. Okay, and for four leaf, he's going to get plus two evasion while being in the grass, plus he also has monster grease. So it's going to be three. That's going to be a five plus to hit four leaf. And he hits. <laughs> and where does he hit for? Hit some in the body. So it's going to take him to light. Okay, and that's going to end monster's turn. Lord Paul. Go back to our survivors. Automatically attack him and it's not going to trigger the alert mood since he's already in that range. But anybody else is going to stop moving and attack. Let's go ahead and start with four leaf. He has the bone daggers. 
That'll be a three speed attack. So it's gonna be seven plus hit. Oh my goodness, Warly. Two, three, three. Uh, you know what? What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and use Crawl's Bounding Stone. To start it. And I'm going to just chuck it. See what we hit. Now the uh, Founding Stone, it automatically hits from anywhere on the board and it does an automatic critical hit. And he hit Fleshy Gut. So it's not a failure and there is a critical. The white Lion vomits all over you. It feels awesome. Gain one random basic resource. Gain plus three insanity. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of AI board update roll up to four sanity is now insane one basic random reason draw that net monster organ Says if you consume this, archive this card, roll 1d10, this plus you contact the parasite by contact. It's there if you want it. So that was Kroll. Okay, let's move on. And Kroll is also going to move. to have Christmas go next. And Christmas does have the bone darts. So he's just going to check a bone dart. And, and he missed. Okay, Christmas is going to move and he's going to trigger White Lion. So let's move Christmas this way. Stops. Uh, he becomes the priority. So we get rid of the mood. Goes into the discard pile. Then he's going to do the basic action. Uh, he's basically going to move towards Christmas. That's going to be a uh, two speed attack. Lion does have it's a two plus to hit. But since Christmas does have monster grease in it, he sent the grass, it's going to be five to hit him. And he missed. Four. So that was fortunate. So that's Christmas done. Now we're going to have Trinity. Three. Now in the monster's rear, or in that new bone blade she picked up, two speed attack. Hits on sixes, but she's in the rear, gets her plus one, so she's hitting on fives. Now just one hit. Beast ear. is a failure. Okay, so white lion is toughness eight. 
and her bone blade is strength two. So she's gonna need sixes to do a wound. And she does not. Failure. The white lion jumps back without turning. Move the monster one space directly away from the attacker. Cancel all unresolved hits. Without turning. Basically jumps forward, <laughs> apparently. And it collides with Christmas. I'm going to knock him back up spaces. Oh, that's going to be not back five. One, two, three. That was Trinity's turn. I was hoping we would do a little bit better. So now we're back to the monster's grasp. Pick a target. Closest knocked down survivor in range. Let's knock down. What's the survivor in range? Everybody's in range. Oh, it looks like it might be going for old oh, Joe. <laughs> um, okay, so the monster is going to go for roll here. And this is going to be a one speed attack. I mean, a two plus to hit. Unfortunately, not getting to the grass. He does hit. Does he hit? He hits him in the head. And it's going to be one damage, but plus one because of enraged. So that's two damage. Roll. That's definitely going to knock him down. Roll is going to have to roll on the severe injury table. All right, car. Let's see what you get. Oh, he's just dead. <laughs> head explosion. Your head erupts in a shower of gore. No. Oh, wait a minute. Not dead. A crow has one survival. Yeah, let's just <laughs> rewind that a little bit. My bad. Every time it takes a headshot, let's just go ahead and automatically dodge. So we're just gonna pretend that like that didn't happen. So crawl. Instead of taking that headshot, he's gonna spend only survival and actually dodge this attack, which keeps him alive, thankfully. And take that off. Okay, and with that, we're going on to the survivor's turn. Survival. Okay, next, we want to have Trinity. Next. To the rear. Two. On blade, two attacks. Sounds. Two hits. Need sixes because she's in the rear. Actually, she needs five. First hit location. The beast knee. We also have beast temple. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the beast knee. That bone blade is strength two fixes.
There's not wounds, but there's no failure. Okay. Okay. Five. So there is a failure reaction. Form basic action. So the beast turns around. And he does two attacks. Both, no. He still has monster grease, but only one hits. Or does it hit? Foot does two damage. That is going to knock her down. Has me He's knocked down. Okay, and I guess we'll have Crawl go next. Already He's going to do his um his fist and two attacks. Normally he would hit on eights, but since he's in the rear, he's gonna hit on sevens. And he missed. Yeah, let's go ahead and move. Yeah, let's move. Okay, so now we have Christmas daggers. Has one attack. But he's gonna be hitting on the six. Rolls a two. He missed. Uh, last. Four leaf. One, two, three. Bone dagger, attacks, sevens. Hit once. Hit location. Beef Maw. Four leaf. Need sevens to wound. Rank one. He rolls a seven. So there is no failure. Done two wounds so far. <laughs> Not best thing. Also, all in the grass so we can get more evasion. Okay, with that, it's going to be the monster's turn. Claw. Okay, with claw closest, red facing. That could be four leaf. We have two speed attack and plus. One damage plus one of the rage. Hit cruel. Thank you. Four leaf is gonna shot it. Um, it. Does have some evasion. Four leaf is the priority token. Yeah, so that will give four leaf sanity. He's basically yelling at the lion and hey, 
come rip my head off. And the lion's like, okay. Walks over. Okay. Have a two. I'm gonna need threes to hit. And he hits twice. Let's see where does he hit? Head and body. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and use for least survival. Dodge the head attack. So take him down to the thing. Oh, that's gonna be a severe injury. Us four leaf have the suffer damage. Alright, thank Roll. So we're gonna roll on the severe injuries table. With a body. Wait. No. Five. Throw it back. Sharp cracking noise. Suffer minus two permanent movement. You can no longer activate any gear that has two plus strength. This injury is permanent. Order once. Gain one bleeding token. Move four leaf or poor four leaf. Minus two to its movement. I move three. Permanently. Go ahead and mark that on the sheet. Even token. But it could have been worse. Could have been dead. Okay. So it's not been looking too good, but that does end the monster's turn. Now the survivor's turn. And Trinity will stand up. Fortunately, uh, or we stay where he is. Let's go ahead. I think we're gonna have roll. Start attacking the his fist and tooth. He's going to need his eight. We missed. So he's going to move. Christmas go next. Lance one attack hitting on the six. Roll the nine. This is a hit. Strange hands. Okay, so he, the daggers are actually strength three, so it's going to need a five. Wound. There is a failure. It doesn't fail. Sweet, sweet Christmas fails again. Instinctively striking back, the white lion's oddly human hands dart forward. Form basic action. So he turns. Face Christmas. I'll do a two speed attack. Christmas is actually plus two with evasion. So, Lion's going to need force to hit him. And he hits him twice. Where? In the waist and body. Unfortunately, Christmas did have armor there. Light wounds on the waist and body. Yeah, <clears throat> let's go ahead. And we're going to move him. Does give Trinity opportunity to wipe at that sweet, sweet tweet. No, she's gonna use her bone blade. Only two attacks. <clears throat> Getting on fives. Six and a seven. Two hits. 
first the beast brow then have straining neck okay we're actually just gonna go ahead and do the straining neck first there is no reaction and she is wounding on sixes of her long blade strength too neck a critical wound okay okay trinity okay can you do it again okay i'm gonna roll on the chart there's a chart here Rose of six. Paralyzed. The monster is knocked down. That's that is awesome. Knock the monster down. So the monster is knocked down. And <clears throat> it still has a wound. Let's never forget wound. The other way, so the same deal. Six over two. There's no reaction since the monster is knocked down. Yep, before they're still knocked down. Now she can move. The monster is going to get back up. Oh, so she's going to move back into the grass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Trent. Hey, okay, monster's turn. It's gonna draw an AI card, and it's going to automatically stand him back up. <clears throat> I drew combo claw. Okay, so it's Pictorial closest threat facing range. Facing the closest threat in field of view. Want to be okay, it looks like Christmas is going to be target. So the monster earns one for Christmas. Alright, combo claw. Two speed attack. It's four accuracy. One damage, but it's going to be two. Also. Okay, so the monster is rolling two dice. Four accuracy. Christmas does have plus two evasion. Of the is raw. So, the monster's going to need sixes. Of course. Nine and an eight. Why can't we do that? Here and a waste. So Christmas is going to use his revival dodge waste. He'll take. It. He'll take it to his arms. And heavy, and that's going to knock him down. Okay, but with that, that's the end of the monster's turn. Back to the survivor's turn. And that's what it means for Leaf is actually going to get to stand up. Uh, I wish I could do something else. Leaf. Okay, I think four leaf is want to move. Three movement now. Yeah, he's going to use bone dagger. So we need sevens. Okay, he has two hits. Perfect hit. I think it's Bone Dagger. 
Yep, on the perfect hit, gain plus one survival. Oh. Belief. That's survival again. The beast tail. Soft belly. Yeah, you know what we're going for first. We're going for that soft, soft belly. We do need the wound here. Does need sevens. Uh. Wound. Have the tail eight. That's a reflex, regardless. We'll move monster four in a straight line. Cancel all hits now out of range. Any survivors passed over suffer wrath. Uh, yep, I didn't want that to happen. So the monster's gonna move forward. He's gonna take. Or Christmas with them. Uh, Goes on the level one for the ride. We do do a wound. That's the only good thing. Or forget, grab, let's take damage, and so that's going to be a severe. Rolls at eight, arms, uh, arms. Viral fracture, arm twist unnaturally. Gain minus two strength token. Hit the next hunt. Gain one bleeding. But so Christmas is now up to two bleeding tokens. Last game, he said a lot. Now, he's at minus two strength. Alright, Christmas. Sweet. We're gonna have. Militist attack. He needs a sevens. Yeah, I think. I want to stay in the grass now. <laughs> Let's. That was just move him over one. He's just going to use fists and twos. To attack twice, using eights. Uh, he does get one hit. Let's see what does he hit? Glorious main, which is impervious. Wow, that's uh, I'm actually good. That's, I don't think I said you can't. Impervious hit locations cannot be wounded. A wound or a critical wound will not remove AI. Or defeat the monster, and it basically does nothing because it's impervious. But I can see if I can crit, which I don't. Okay, so that's Roll's turn. So now we're going to move on to Remedy. I'm going to try to get in the rear. Chance. You can do some wounds to this. Stay in the grass. So Trinity's just gonna move. Stay in the grass. And attack. Six is to hit. And she got one hit. Uh, 
beast tricep. See, there is a failure. She needs sixes. Wound. And she rolls a nine. She has some luck. Get a critical. She's gonna remove an AI. Good. Four AI cards left. Five wounds. Steadily making progress. So that is the survivor's turn. <laughs> Alert. Okay, that's not bad. Actually, that's not bad. Okay, it's gonna get rid of an AI card. So it's gonna be a zone of death. So if anybody moves that zone of death, then the monster is gonna stop them and attack. But unfortunately, fortunately, everybody's in range to attack the monster. Um, yeah, Christmas is gonna stand up. Standing is not is act, not moving. It is on the dev, standing up. Mm. Well, four leaf does have a foundling. Christmas. Yep. Yep. One attack. Putting on a seven. Seven. Go figure. It's Christmas. Hey. Move. Okay, so Troll is gonna go next with his fist and tooth. He's eight. It wants. It. Beast paw. A little paw. Is a failure. No, eight. No. <clears throat> so beast turn. It's going to do basic action. Okay, which is two attacks. Give me on twos. But he's in the uh, in the grass. Let's go ahead and give him plus two evasion. He's on you. And he hits twice. <laughs> so he's on you. Okay, where is it? Head, foot. That is it's gonna be severe injury. Head, all the lasers. So it's knocked down, and on the roll severe head injury. Three. Just almost kills him. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> uh, severe head injury, decapitation, you're dead. No, oh, Crow. I didn't think he was going to make it anyway. Oh, Crow is officially dead. Uh, there's nothing I can do to stop that. Nope. Should have wounded, guy. Wounded. Oh, I can tell you. Actually, you've been double dead. Who does it? No. Plus two damage. Full crow is dead. That happened. Okay, next we're gonna have Trinity go. Okay. Do two attacks, hitting on sixes. Just uh Brains, brains get splattered all over him. Basically, yeah, his head and everything. He splattered her up. She hit twice. Beast elbow. Go oh, here. Been ever so close to that trap card, I don't know. Beast rib. Here's a wound reaction. Oh, let's see. All 
right, one reaction, the attacker, yeah, this is what beats ribs. The attacker has some three plus understanding, the sound of cracking ribs is encouraging, the attacker gains plus one survival. Okay, let's we'll start with that. She doesn't have understanding, but it's nothing that's going to affect her. Fixes. Nope. Then wound. And I'm a beast elbow. Six. Okay. Full move monster forward in a straight line. Cancel all hits now out of range. Any survivors passed over suffer. So. Monster is going to grab Trinity. That's going to do damage to a random location as he's dragging her. So go ahead. Body. Trin can take a wound. And the monster is going to move. Grab her. Her along for the ride. There. Ah, so this white line is really over. All right, so four leaf is go next. No, it's moving like. He's going to throw. Founding stone. The way things are going, I'm expecting this to get trapped. Now, see what we have. It's gonna be automatic hit. Okay, now trap. Beast back. Okay, so. The critical wound is white line gains minus one accuracy token. So well, that is a good thing. Slowly wearing this thing down. Move an AI call. Tearing us apart. And with that, that's going to be the end of our turn. Poor, poor crawl. So, going on to monsters. So let's draw an AI card. What happens? Chomp. Closest threat facing in range. Trinity is no longer a threat. Closest threat in field of view. Like it's going to be poorly. Monster's going for a four leaf. Fortunately, he is a uh, minus one accuracy. That's going to help out a lot. Okay, so the white line is going to attack four leaf. This has a evasion, so he's in the grass. Gonna be two. He has monster grease as three. Monster has minus one accuracy. Four. So it's going to need a six to hit four leaf. Three. Thank goodness. We need a break. So, sorted. And that's very, it's very dangerous. Chomp is a dangerous card because Chomp, it automatically targets the head. Uh, so the monster turn is over. Back to us. Trinity is going to stand up. Stand Trinity up. Go ahead, move her.
you're very close to hitting that trap hole. For full well. Uh, that's poor, poor crow. Anxious. Oh, a dart. Go ahead and dart seven. Oh, hopefully, Christmas will be a little bit better. Christmas, ah, four leaf, four leaf, four leaf. I think we all know he's gonna hit that trap, right? Three speed attack. Needs sevens. Hits twice. Fuzzy groin. Okay. There. And not a trap. Beef chest. Okay. Where's he? Where's he? Hmm. I just want to eat seven. Okay. <sighs> nope. There is a failure reaction for the beast chest. Full move, the monster forward in a straight line, cancel all hits now at a range. Any survivors buffer. And let's go ahead and do the hit location. Body. Yeah, let's go and knock him down. Um Yeah, you can't. Dodge. Your injury. Take him. Five. Six. And six, seven. Rupture spleen. A vicious body blow. Get the next hunt. Gain two bleeding tokens. What do I always say? Could be worse. He has two bleeding tokens. But he's still alive. The important thing, he's still alive. Okay, so now it is the monster's turn. Let's see what the monster does now. Wow. Closest threat facing and in range. So it looks like that's actually going to be Christmas. So it's going to leave poor or four leaf. Two. Two. Three. Two speed attack. Accuracy. Two damage because of raged. Christmas is in the grass. I'll take it. Four. Has minus one accuracy, so it's five. Evasion, six. And monster group, seven. 
So the monster needs sevens. We haven't been doing too good with sevens. And the monster rolls a ten. Unbelievable. So waste damage. Face is gonna knock him down for your injury. So is the body. Monster is carving us up. Okay, let's happen. Let's see what happens. Go for the waste. Six. Destroyed genitals. Cannot be nominated for the intimacy story event. Injury is permanent. Reported once. Gain a random disorder. We're knocked down. Gazing upwards, you wonder at the futility of your struggle. Gain plus three insanity. Gain one beating token. Yeah, Christmas. And you just kill him. On. Last one. Can't catch a breath. Gain minus one movement token. Gain one bleeding token. Up to four bleeding tokens. And a random disorder. It's not dead. Could have been worse. Okay. So Christmas is about to bleed to death. He is not down. Staring up at the sky. And I'm gonna get one random disorder. Apathetic. You've given up. Nothing seems to matter. You have no concern for your own well-being. You cannot use or gain survival. You cannot gain courage. Cure this disorder if you have A plus understanding. Ah, uh, Christmas. Just became. Okay, this is looking really, really bad for us. Hey, it's monster turn is over. So four leaf will stand up. But the issue is is that monster has alert in play. So if we move anywhere within four spaces of them, he's basically just gonna do a basic action. Come and hack us. Also as far as hit locations go, I think he has maybe five cards. And um, it's looking pretty bad for that trap to come up as terror support. Uh, unfortunately, the only person who can actually throw things on his back, staring up the sky, contemplating is uh, meaning life, existence. So, somebody's gonna definitely get mauled. And I guess it's gonna be four leaf. I'm gonna have to be four leaf. And that's still gonna leave a Trinity out of rank. Can dash. The way things are going, I kinda want her to hold on to survivals. Dodge. See what happens. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with four leaf. So he's just gonna move up once. Okay, then alert's gonna happen. So alert's gonna get discarded. Goes back into the monster's AI deck. So we still have to do four wounds to kill it. And the monster's gonna turn, take one step, and he's going to attack four leaf. Uh, it's a two speed attack. And he's on twos, but he has minus one accuracy. 
from getting injured earlier. So three. The four leaf has monster group. So it's a four. So it's need fours to hit. And of course he hits twice. So it's just a terrible game right now. And he hits him in the waist. He does have armor, but he also hits him in the head. Um, so four leaf can't actually dodge. Let's see. So he's gonna dodge, obviously obviously he's gonna dodge the head. This is action to him attacking. He's gonna take the one on the waist. And go down to what? Level? It's actually the best scenario for four leaf. Okay, now four leaf is going to attack. Has his three attacks. Still needs sevens. And he hits twice. Okay. It's a trap. Beef heal. Not a trap. And beast flank. No trap. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the beast heal. Four leaf is going to need seven wounds. No. Doesn't wound. And there is a wound reaction. Matter so four it doesn't wound, so the wound reaction doesn't happen either. Okay, so that was four leaf done. She's not going to be able to attack. Okay, and with that, that turn is over. Goes back to the east turn. And this is, uh, scary. So, the next attack is, of course, Chomp. Well, he doesn't have any survival. That's a one speed attack. So it's going to four leaf. One speed attack. I'm gonna need fours to hit because minus one accuracy. And, uh, monster grease. Nine. Uh, so it's four leaf in the head. I'm gonna knock him down. And then severe injury. Decapitated. Alright. Yep, four leaf is dead. Just got decapitated by the monster. Poor, poor four leaf. Yep, he was a he was a founder. Oh, he's tried his best. Best just wasn't good. Well, so that does end the monster's turn. And Christmas. Has to stand up. Maybe he'll do something you've yet to see. 
hit with his dart. That's what we're going to need. Hopefully if he does hit, it'll trigger the trap. Oh, that dart. Missed. So he's going to move that way. And you just had to go. Get into the block. She has to do it. There's nothing else we can do. She's gonna use her bone blade. She needs fives to hit. She missed twice. That's both of these. Four and a two. And our turn is over. Goes back to the monster. Going to perform. So, it's going to be the closest threat facing for the view. Actually, it's, just going, to be, it's going to be Christmas, so. He was in his blind spot. So, it's going to be two attacks. Yeah, it's a two plus, but Christmas is in the grass, so four plus. Uh, then five plus because of the injury from the lion, and then seven plus because of the monster breeze and rawhide vest and all that all those good things. So you need sevens, and it actually missed. You believe that six? And a one. And so I have to reshuffle the AI cards. Monster only has three AI cards in play. Can't hit with these bone darts. Save his life. I think he's only hit once this entire game. Sevens on sevens. All right. <laughs> So he actually crits. I don't think it does it. It does hit. Did he hit? Did he hit the trap? <laughs> but the beast was that scapular deltoid. Yes, it's a failure. It's just going to charge and trap him. Oh, he critted. What? Christmas contemplating life, he comes up and he starts critting things. The trauma of the impact fractures the white lion's shoulder. White lion gains minus one movement token. Well, the most important thing is, is that uh, Christmas didn't get grabbed and we move one more apart from the AI deck. Hopefully that is that alert. The monster gets minus one movement. Doesn't matter. Yeah, she has to get in the grave. Yes, it's gonna be. So, I'm gonna move here. Like this. Right. And the attacks. No six. This one. And no surprise. Trap card. So the attacker is caught in the white lion's ruse and is savagely mauled. Attacker is doomed. Perform basic action. Target the attacker. So the doom just means I can't use survival. And he does actually have survival point. Can't move it. Use it. For well, the base of action, he's gonna attack twice. And one is gonna need fives to hit. Wait. Four. Monster. Five. 
so yeah. Fix this. And let me make sure tall grass for my point accuracy five. Fixes. Hits once. If he hit her in the body, nope. Take her into heavy. Knock her down. And that's plus one damage. So. Here for severe injury for the body. Nine. Eye is always good, right? Left lung. Well, can't catch a breath. Gain minus one movement token. Gain one bleeding token. Boom. Monsters turn and we draw claw. And he's of course gonna target Christmas. Let's see. He established if he needs sevens to actually hit Christmas. And he hits once. For no hits. Christmas is automatically not down. And roll on the arm table. Three. Who's he Pretty sure he gets bleed. In which case he just died. Bleeding. Gain two bleeding tokens. Well, like I said, Christmas basically just bleeds out. So Christmas has died. So we'll just remove him. So it's up to Trinity. End of the monster turn. He can just do three wounds to it. <laughs> Trinity's gonna stand up. Stay. In the grass here. I want to attack. Now we're gonna have a full party kill. The founders. One survivor is gonna die. Gonna be going to be the one. Alright, so she needs fixes. Hit. Strange hands. That one. You need sixes. Eight. She wounds. She wants to live, so there's no failure or the thing I call. Two wounds away from killing this thing. So she's not going to move, so the monster only has one AI card right now, and it's going to be Claw. Okay. So it's going to need four or five fixes to hit Trinity in speed attack. It's once. And fortunately, Trinity does have revival. She is going to dodge. And so it's going to be Trinity's turn. Happy where she is. Hit. Oh, she hits twice. 
I just could potentially kill the thing as she wounds. We have the beef maul. Then the beef temple. Um, let's see, the failure on the beast small, the monster roars triumphantly, low one d10 on the four plus the attack itself is one brain damage per monster level when it's not down. We'll perform one basic action. Well, let's go with the beast small. Let's start with that. Hey. Okay. Needs a fix. So, roll low again, seven, no, so she suffers a brain damage, she has seven, so it goes down to six, and she is not down. So the beast temple goes away, so she is not down. Okay, so it goes back to the monster's turn. And basically, the monster's not gonna do anything. Uh, she's no longer a threat. So it's going to do Niff. So I believe next turn, X, it doesn't matter if she's laying down, um, attack her. That works. Sure. Okay, so yeah, the monster does snip. So she um, will stand back up. Okay, but she gets knocked down again. It will attack. It will be considered a One hit. Beef knee. Six. Of course we can't. And nothing happens. Goes back to the beast turn. And the monster does claw again. Even sixes. Seven and an eight. Only she could do that. What? Oh, she's going to be not down. She's got to roll in the severe injury table for both. Uh, go with the foot. Seven. Leg, rather. Torn muscle. Your quadrupedic is ripped thread. You cannot dash until the showdown ends. Get the next hunt. Gain one bleeding. Two bleeding tokens. Arm on dislocated shoulder. Pop. Can I activate two handed paired weapons or use a block? So the showdown ends. Gang one bleed. And she's up to three. In token. Uh, just like that. Okay. That's the end of the monster's turn. Stands back up. Going to attack. He just needs sixes. Hits once. And where does she hit? Beast ear. Roll a six. Or ten. 
eight. She wounds. Gets rid of the last cat card. Now she just needs to. Monster's gonna do the basic attacks. She needs to inflict one more wound. Funny thing is, it's like uh, basic actions. <laughs> it's basically the same as the other attacks. Sixes to hit her attacks. He finally missed. Can't believe it. So it goes back to Trinity. Come on, girl, you can do it. A nine and a nine. Two hits, two opportunities. Beast flank and fleshy gut. Okay, need the beast flank. One action means she becomes a priority. She already is. Come on. She did it. She did it. This line out of here. Uh, we lost two of our founding members. One survivor that we found. Randy shown her work once again. She's a bad girl. Covered in blood, her own blood, the lion's blood, my failure to fellow companions' blood, sits there and kneels in the grass, silently carving out each piece of the white line. Well, let's see what kind of resources does she actually get. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the basic resources. Shuffle. Four. Okay, so it's Broken Lantern. Cancel Scrap. Monster Bone. Huh. Another Broken Lantern. And. Another monster bone. Now for the actual white lion resources. It's going to get <laughs> the lion's testes. Yes, she should. White lion tail. Eye of the cat. And great cat bone. Uh, so that is Trinity. So next we're gonna go ahead and go to the uh, settlement. Settlement. See what endeavors we can do. Okay, I'm gonna use this smaller board. Trinity, which was so broken up, the loss of her comrades that she. Uh, as he kind of came and glued from her base. Let me use this. So she returns by herself. She gains one endeavor. And then we update the timeline. Okay, I need to go back and do another step. In the update timeline, the first thing I should have did was draw a settlement event. Or a story event. Go ahead and do that. Murderer. Oh my goodness. It just keeps getting worse. It really does. Worst event in the deck. Someone in the settlement has been murdered. The survivor with the highest hunt XP is the victim. They are dead. The murderer, the survivor, the highest insanity is caught in the act and is awaiting punishment. Select the table that corresponds with your settlement society principle and roll 1d10 to determine the fate of the murderer. So, in essence, Trinity, after being sent out on this hunt, 
being a sole survivor, conquering the white lion, comes back just to be murdered. And she has the highest XP. And the person in the summon has the highest insanity is, of course, Kira. So I guess during that hunt, when she was staring into the a green glowing stone, she gained some insight and said she has to kill Trinity. Okay, and uh, with the principles that has collected toil, except the darkness, hadn't gotten to those yet. So, no society principle yet, I'm just gonna roll a d10. Six. The other survivors in the settlement cannot determine the truth. Reluctantly free the accused this year. Parting survivors gain plus five anti and minus two survival. So that wipes out the survival that would have gotten believing. I believe we were up to two survival. And now that's gone too. And everybody just gets a little bit more insane. Murder is the worst card you could possibly pull in this deck. I have a possible, I guess I think I have a possible 20, I guess, cards. You have a 1 in 20 chance pulling that event. And that just sucks. So we basically have one founding member left. She's actually craziest of them all. And uh, just murdered poor Trinity. Trinity's now dead. I would lie if I say if I wasn't a little bit miffed at that outcome. But it is what it is. Um, we trigger the story event. Endless screams. Oh, um, that. The settlement erupts into chaos trying to comprehend the source of the terrible well. You may now hunt the screaming antelope. Add it to your quarry list on the settlement record sheet. Nominate a single survivor to stand amidst the madness. Gain plus one courage to become the voice of reason. And you, of course, ask Trinity. So she's going to get plus one courage. One away, you're going to vent for herself. Okay, so I'm going to roll a d10. Four. Survivor realizes the noise is most likely from another strange creature who lives out in the darkness. Some effort, they manage to calm the settlement. Survivor gains plus one understanding. Turning survivors gain plus one insanity. So she gets plus one to her understanding and sanity. Takes her insanity. Up to seven. As Trinity did um, kill the beast, or she used the sword and wounded it, she's gonna start with the sword proficiency. So she's gonna gain proficiency and reach her first age with weapon proficiency. So I'm gonna roll 2d10. Okay, she gets 11. Seven through 15 gain one random fighting art. Double dash. During your act, once per round, you may spend an action to gain. So she can basically dash twice. I guess fighting that white lion did uh, maybe a little bit more evasive. Not bad. Hoping oh, for something a little better, but the dash work. They could death count. Had a population 14. 
Okay, so we triggered the principle of death. So we have two to choose from. First harvest or the first grave. First harvest, the settlement decides to harvest the body for resources. Settlement gains the death principle cannibalized. Find the card and place it on your settlement board and note it on your settlement record sheet. Basically, when somebody dies, it's in them for resources. And then we have the first grave. Settlement decides to build a small monument to mark their loss. The settlement gains the death principle graves. For the first harvest, roll a d10, 1 through 5, settlement ritualistically divides the corpse a sharp stone and grimly consumes the dead flesh, gain a founding stone, starting gear. All departing survivors gain plus 3 insanity. Pretty awesome. 6 through 10, nominated survivor. Survivor fanatically tears the corpse open, deeply drinks his blood. They decide that for every new creature they eat, they will become stronger. Survivor gains plus one permanent, permanent speed. So, um, cannibalism is looking pretty good. What's the first grave offer? One, one through five, Sediment gathers around the grave, each taking a moment to reflect the loss and their place in the darkness. All departing survivors gain plus one survival, plus one understanding. Six through ten, nominate the survivor. Tears in their eyes, the survivor takes a shard of rock from the grave and marks themselves with it. They cherish this mark forever. Survivor gains plus one permanent luck. Cannibalize the dead or you have stones. Survival and understanding are good. And he will take you to a certain. What do we do like that? Plus one permanent speed. Also, that gives you more attacks. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the first grip. The plus one luck is gonna come in handy. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and roll. D10, let's see what we get for the graves. Two. So all departing survivors gain plus one survival, plus one understand. And as far as development, development goes, uh, just for fighting the white lion, you did earn the catatarium. So besides the bonesmith, Organ grinder and generally now have this to work with. Um, I'm not going to go through the uh, development part. Film basically the next game. I'll go through what I picked out and things that I bought with the resources that we get from the white line. So I believe the next step was going to be innovations. And that's what I'm gonna use my endeavor on to innovation. Uh, one thing that I noticed that when you have graves, it says all new survivors gain plus one understanding. When a survivor dies during the hunt or showdown phase, gain plus two endeavors. When a survivor dies during the settlement phase, gain plus one endeavor. So Trinity, it does actually have three endeavors. They lose the body. Showdown fate. Or starting innovation deck. You know, you endeavor innovation. We, we draw two cards and we pick one. And ammonia. The language card. I guess we just go for ammonia. And uh, ammonia says a pugnant 
who was assessing steel for crafting leather reading wounds. Party survivors gain plus one survival. Oh yeah, that's good. Yep, plus one survival. They just have one. And that, we have two endeavors left. I believe I'm gonna do those off camera. Not to do besides build. But we'll do that off camera. Tell you the results. Time I film for year three. After looking at it, it looks like after year three, when we might have a nemesis encounter with the butcher, butcher, which is not great. So our survivors need to build up their strength so we can fight him. So I thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. it. Was our second game, and again, my name is Derek, and this is my channel, Games and Tables. Thank you for watching.